This is how to set up the Ioptron Sky Hunter. Um, doing this inside uh, doesn't matter. Uh, the same the same procedure would be for outside as well. Uh, what you start out with, you need to make sure that it is level. So let's take a look. It's not quite level, is it? No. So we're going to adjust that, and I'm using a ball head here. Um, big giant ball head, heavy duty ball head. It makes it uh, very easy to go ahead and level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. As you can see, I now have it uh, level. You can see right there, I'm using a uh, center bubble level, and that works pretty well. The next step is going to be we're going to point the Sky Hunter north, this side pointing north, the side that has the USB port and your on and off switch right there. We're going to go ahead and point that north. I typically like to use a regular uh, standard compass. Uh, you have to make sure you have the you know magnetic declination set properly. So anyhow, I just put it up against uh, Sky Hunter right there and it is facing north. You have to remember, you have to make sure that you have this the optical tube straight up. I use a digital digital level uh, to make sure that is the, the that is the zero position they call you know with the optical tube straight up. I also like to balance it right here. I will take this whole unit with the scope and the weights counterweights off, and I will set it on a table with a pencil underneath here, and I will find the center um, the center uh, balance point, and that will go right in the center of the ball mount mount right here. That way it's uh, nice and balanced. Okay, we're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and turn on the unit right here. It is turned on. You can see that it's flashing. That means uh, you know we got good power. Next step is we go to uh, an iPad or an iPhone or, or an Android device. Um, I typically like to use an iPad because it's larger. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to Wi-Fi. And we're going to select this right here because that is the Ioptron Sky Hunter. It is now connected. Now we're going to go to Ioptron's Commander Light. We're going to tap to connect. Also click on Time and Sight and confirm that the information is correct. If not, go ahead and correct it. We're going to use Sky Safari 6. Connect. It is connected. And there we go. You can see that it is connected. When you do your initial alignment on an object or a star, and it's better to do it on a star, um, you use the up and down arrows on your screen, and in this case it's Sky Safari 6 Plus. Uh, up and down, you get it centered, and make sure you, you visually view the object or the star through your uh, telescope eyepiece to make sure it's in perfectly dead center and then hit align, then you'll be in good shape for alignment. There we go, it's just about to Arcturus. It has arrived. Nice features of using Sky Safari, whether it's version 6 or 7, um, with the Ioptron Sky Hunter, is you can, you know, easily navigate the sky. You can see that I'm moving the mount. It's moving right now. To navigate to a new object or a star, just click on it on the screen and select Go To. It's moving down. Now let's move it up. You can see where it's going. You can see the, the cursor. When you're all done, you're ready to uh, close shop and done for the evening. Um, all you do is you're in Sky Safari, go ahead and disconnect and close that out. You're going to go to Commander Light, zero position, go to zero position, 
the mount is now slewing to the uh, zero position and once it reaches zero position you can go down and um, you can shut it off with the on, off, on and off button. And again doing this by uh, going to the zero position at the end of your session. Uh, next time you want to use it you're ready to go. Because you always have to start out with the scope, the optical tube in zero position. Nice and smooth, very quiet mount. I find it very accurate. The go-to is really nice. I've used it for astrophotography. I mean, it's a you know alt-as mount the way I have it set up, so it's not ideal, but it does work. 